guys welcome back to the channel daughter of increase my name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video and I post new videos every Wednesday all about my faith God Christ and expanding the kingdom of God and I do that through Bible studies book reviews book hauls discussions and more so this is going to be a sort of Bible study with me part one it's going to be two parts so the first part is me walking you guys through my bible annotating key because i do get questions a lot about if i annotate in my bible when it comes to my journaling bible i do not color code i just use whatever color i feel like but in my actual study bibles i do use a color code system especially in my number one favorite bible right now which is the spiritual life bible this bible has been the bible that i've been taking to church i've been studying with this is like my go-to right now and um i do color code in this and this system is the system that i use um this color here means locations i'm redoing this because i have reworked it so many times that it's just time to make a new one so i'm gonna be walking you guys through my colors the, cup, the markers that I'm using and um yeah so first things first are the materials so I do have these graph root index cards from Pen and Gear from Walmart um I would have probably preferred the dotted ones but this is fine I don't want to use a regular index card just because I want to use it the long way instead of like that so um this is what it looks like I have the two pens that I'm going to be using the ballpoint f301 and then the g301 both from Zebra these are both 0.7 millimeter pens I love these pens they're so good I just wish that the ink came with more like that it came with more ink but you can buy refills for this um the refills and these pens are not expensive at Walmart I mean you get two in a pack for I think less than seven bucks probably less than five because when I go I normally pay about four dollars but I'm pretty sure some other Walmarts are expensive um and then the refills are not expensive at all either so we have that I also have my Zebra Maliner highlighters. So we have the original ones here. And then I also have the brush tip. I'm not really probably even going to use a brush tip, but I do have them because the fine liner on these are a lot more finer than these. So um, we have those. What else? What else? What else? Let me just fix this because I almost messed up some stuff. Okay. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So I'm going to flip the camera around overhead so you guys can see me rework my um annotate insisting and then i'm going to actually show you guys what it looks like in my bible with the color code system so you guys can see and the next portion will be me doing an actual bible study for galatians 2 and possibly chapter 3 so let's just flip this camera around and get to it okay guys so hopefully you guys can see this really well i have the lighting as best as possible but um yeah i have a new way of having an overhead view so hopefully this works we'll see but um yeah i have my tea here i'm gonna take a sip of that i have a pumpkin spice candle burning in the background so we're gonna get into this so like i said the index cards i'm using are the graph root and this cards from pen and gear i got them from walmart love these a lot and um i wanted it because i want to be able to write the long way instead of this way because this way just doesn't work for me and i'm going to laminate this after the fact so i have my zebra mount liners that i'm using all 11 colors if i'm not mistaken this is all 11 2 4 6 8 10 yes all 11 colors i'm going to be using and um the code is staying the same every every color is still the same i'm just going to change the placement and um fix up how it looks so first things first this no, this one is the G301. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's a 0.7 millimeter from Zebra. I love these. These Zebra pens are like amazing. I love the black. I also have blue. But I'm going to use a gel pen just to write the title. And it's just going to say Bible Annotating Key. Literally, that's it. And um, it does not have to be perfect. I am not the best person at lettering or writing properly. So um, I'm definitely going to use the lines to help me out. But I just want to keep this like that. And like I said, I'm literally just using the lines to help me. I meant to make that bigger, but that's okay. Not the best, doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't do this to be perfect. Um... So it says Bible annotating key. Simple as that. I'm going to put this pen to the side. And we're going to start off with purple. Now, I'm going to see if this is actually going to work out quickly. Because I have a specific way that I want everything laid out. So let me see. 
Okay, so we're going to start off with purple. And this is in the shade Mild Violet is what it's called. Um, it's just lavender to me pretty much. And we are just going to go with the two boxes here. Pretty much, that is it. I'm going to put this to the side. And purple is anything to do with God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and their attributes. So... God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, their attributes. Simple as that. Next color I'm going to do is red. Now, red I had at the bottom here, but I'm trying to keep the things that are related to God close to each other so it's easy because I honestly always get confused with purple and red so many times um so luckily they technically can work together but i want to keep them close by so i know so that is going to be dealing with the promises of god grace mercy um and compassion even though that is also grace and mercy but i'm gonna write that next color is going to be green so i'm taking the green and i didn't tell you guys so this red is called mild red <laughs> this green is mild green <laughs> they actually have names for these too so that's why i'm letting you guys know because you can buy these individually but um so green is anything to do with faith, obedience, and fruits of the spirit. I like to mark that in green. So, faith, obedience, fruits of the spirit. Next is yellow. This is mild gold. I think this is what this color is called. Mild gold or something like that. love that yellow color so yellow is anything to do with miracles blessings praise and worship and i think of um green i mean yellow that way because it's a very bright happy color and i just associate it with praise and um when i am doing praise dance i know that yellow is a symbol of um praise and worship so if there's a miracle that takes place in the scripture a lot of the miracles that christ does blessings that are given praise and worship that includes adoration as well so if someone is um giving adoration to god or jesus i will mark it in yellow so the next color is going to be light blue this is the shade mild blue so light blue is next and light blue is anything to do with wisdom and teaching so um that's all i'm gonna put is wisdom and teaching so when christ is teaching something or someone one of the prophets is teaching something or you know anybody in the bible is teaching something to someone or giving words of wisdom um that cannot correlate to anything else then i will mark it in that light blue moving on to dark blue um this is mild cayenne or cyan i always say cayenne but i think it's cyan the word but um it's just a darker blue So I use that for anything that's a command or a warning. So if God or Christ is warning someone or Peter is warning someone um, not to do something or giving them a command to go and do this, then I mark it in that color. So command. Are you guys in view? Okay. Command and warnings. The next color is going to be pink. And this color is mild fuchsia. And this one has to do anything with like relationships, um, family, marriage, things like that. So relationships, 
um and that can be whether it's like servant and master because the bible talks about um about servants and masters husband and wives children's and their parents things like that so relationships family marriage I'm going to highlight that. Um, then we go into the next one, which is orange. And this color is the shade, I believe this is mild apricot. I think this one is mild apricot, this color. Um, and orange has anything to do with prophecy, oaths, vows, visions, covenants, dreams, that type of thing. So um, at one point, I was going to separate you know prophecies covenants and dreams and all that but i decided to just put them all in one category because it works best for me um so prophecy visions covenants dreams i'm gonna put vows because vows and oaths are the same so there we go um, then we go into brown. This is literally, I think this is called mild brown or something like that. I honestly can't remember. It says M-E and I don't remember what the E was for. So I believe this is mild brown or something along those lines. But brown is anything relating to Satan, death, um, anything evil, temptation, wickedness, things like that. So I'm going to put Satan. Sin, death, temptation, and evil. I don't have to put wickedness because obviously. Um, and then second to last is light gray. And then I'm actually going to just do the one for dark gray as well now. So dark gray looks like that light gray is anything to do with names names of people and dark gray is locations so jerusalem arabia damascus those things i will mark so there we go that's pretty much my highlighting system um or my color code system it might seem like a lot to people um and it can be overwhelming i will i will say that it can be but um i'm just so used to doing it now so um i can now get rid of this uh put that to the side and this will be the new one i am going to laminate this and keep this in my bible okay so here is my bible and let me just open it so it's the Spirit Foot Life Bible, third edition from Thomas Nelson. Um, Jack W. Hayford is the executive editor. But I'm just going to show you guys a few examples of how I use this without a color code system. So here's one. Um, this was numbers 35. I'm doing, well, I'm still in the middle of preparing a sermon all about um, the Cities of Refuge um, that sparked in it. I got an interest from that after reading the Cities of Refuge series from Connie Lynn Cassette. So I'm working on a sermon for that. Um, but in this, I had no color code system. What I did was I just picked colors that looked appealing together. So we had blue, we had yellow, we had green, and we had this kind of orangey color. Um, and those were the colors that I used on this page. And I was inspired from another YouTuber. I saw her video. She did a chron, she, she has a chronological study Bible from, um, Zondervan, I think is the NLT translation if I'm not mistaken. I will try to find her video and leave it in the cards for you guys if she still has it up. But um, it's Print, Pray, Slay. Her YouTube channel is what I watched. And the way that she went and did her like highlighting stuff in her Bible is that she just picked colors that were like really pretty. And that worked for me at first and it was really, really pretty. As you can see, I love the way the colors look here. I think I also did it. Yeah, I did it also in Joshua um, at first. It was pretty. I went with, you know, just basic colors and then I picked colors for the bottom. If you guys can see, hopefully you can see down here. Let me move my um tea out the way. But at first it went fine, but when I go back to look at this, I know nothing of what it means. So for me, that just did not work out the best. Um I love the system. It really helped when I was studying, but at the at this time with 
how I study it just it doesn't work so I decided to go back to my color code and the color code system is not new I was using this in my other Bible I have another color coding system I have several of them okay so in this study Bible this is the key that I'm using so going to Isaiah 14 and 19 um well Isaiah 14 verse 13 and 14 um we studied this verse for Bible study and I marked it all in brown I do have to go back obviously and highlight and like purple but this was all about satan um and things like that the fall of lucifer so i marked it all in brown because this was like he wants to ascend into heaven i will exalt my throne so he satan wants to exalt his throne above the stars of god you can't do that that's a sin he wants to also mount on the congregation he will ascend above the heights of clouds and he will be like the most high that's all arrogance that's all sin that's all satan that's all evil so i marked it all in brown so i know when i come here satan sin evil is something along those lines now what I can do, like I said, is because God is mentioned, I can do stars of God like that. And then the most high I can do in purple. And then I would just leave the rest of that like that. Okay. So I think this is the next one. So when we go to John chapter one, I did some highlighting um, the way that I use my key. And I know that when I'm looking at this, the purple markings, I'm not sure if it's coming up on camera well enough, but the purple markings I know at the top is about God or Christ or the Holy Spirit or their attributes. Um, all through him I believe this is all about blessings and miracles. Uh, own did not receive him. That is not sin per se, but it is rejection. So I put it in that category of evil, temptation, and things like that. Make straight the way of the Lord. That's wisdom and teaching. Um, we have all received the law was given through Moses as teaching again. Um, so you have green hair, which is sent to bear witness to the light. So this is all about his faith. John the Baptist's faith. You know, he was sent to bear witness of the light. That's like faith and obedience to me in my mind. So that's how I correlate it. Um, and then flipping the page, I did start on this page, but I never finished it. So, um, what he said, said to him, okay, so this is, uh, John chapter one, verse 43, when he was talking to Philip and said, follow me. So, um, follow me is a command. So I marked it in dark blue. Hopefully that makes sense. So let's flip ahead to, um, Galatians and my Bible. And this is where I am studying at the moment for church. So I'm sorry if the words are a little blurry. I I apologize I did not know that the words are blurry until I'm just now standing up looking at the camera but uh yeah I'm gonna work on the setup again okay guys I just fixed the camera hopefully this is a little better for you guys to see but um like I said this is Galatians 1 this is what I'm currently studying at and I completely use my color coding system so I see the purple I automatically know this is talking about God Christ or the Holy Spirit I see red so it's talking about a promise of God it's talking about his grace and his mercy his compassion I see light blue so I know that this is giving me some type of wisdom or teaching I see dark gray so this is Jerusalem that's a location Damascus is a location um Syria and Cilia is a location the regions of Syria the churches of Galatia are locations and Apostle Paul I have in uh light gray so that i know that's a person and um i think those are like the only colors that i really used in this section because that's all of what i was getting personally but um yeah that's how i use it as of now and i love it um as far as like the notes on here i just use any color that's not in this system so like i have these random colors here to use at the bottom to mark notes that i want to really stand out um, but other than that, I just, I just underline the notes now. And if there's something, like I said, that I want to stand out, I want it to stand out. I will use any of these colors that don't correlate with colors on this chart and that are not close. Cause I do have other mild liners which are here. I have a few more here, but, um, they're either too similar to the main colors or too dark for underlining. So I use these and I just keep them on the side, but I hope this video was helpful helpful i hope you guys were able to really see how i use and do my bible annotating key in my study bible again this is specifically for my study bible for this bible per se specifically i use a different system in my um king james study bible i use a different system in my atsb study bibles i have different systems for different reasons okay so <laughs> this is however the main system so if you are interested in seeing my other systems just let me know i can definitely do that but um, that is the end of part one. So if you guys, sorry if you guys hear that, 
my landlord is moving chairs upstairs yet again but if you guys are interested in part two where i'm actually going to be taking you guys with me as i study galatians 2 stay tuned for the next video and if not i'll see you guys in the next one thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys later bye